Chris Hinshaw with Aerobic Capacity, and I'm back again for another CrossFit.com workout of the day. And you guessed it, when they bring me in, it's not a heavy barbell workout. It is a cardio piece, and then this time, what we're talking about is rowing for 5,000 meters. And I know many of you realize right away that the 5,000 meter run is one of the most programmed workouts at CrossFit.com, and I'm really pleased to share with you some of my insights on how to attack this workout. We're lucky enough today to have two amazing volunteers. We've got <laughs> Jimmy and we have Joe at the FDNY and they are going to attack it. Now, with Joe here, one of the beauties is, is that he does have a recent 2,000 meter maximum effort time. His time, legit bro, <laughs> six minutes and 29 seconds, which is an average pace per 500 at 137. So for Joe, it makes it somewhat easier for him to come up with a, a strategy for a 5,000 meter effort. He's never done one before, but what we can certainly do is reference his 2,000 meter current time. And what you can easily do for a very aggressive target is just to add 10 seconds to your 500 meter pace. So if he averaged 137 in his 500, per 500, then he's gonna average 147 for his average pace in the 5K. For Jimmy, it's a lot different. He doesn't have a recent 2K time, and so how is it that he's going to attack this workout? And one of the things that we have to recognize right away is what thousand meter interval within this unbroken 5K is going to be the biggest challenge. And when you have a workout with 5,000 meters, that fourth interval, that interval from the 3,000 meter point to the end of the 4,000 is without question gonna be the biggest challenge for him. So he needs to know right now that that's where he's gonna to wanna to quit. So when he gets there, he's not surprised. If he feels that sensation, just as he completes that 4,000 meter distance where he wants to quit, then he has paced this perfectly. So everybody, you gotta recognize when you have a five round workout, or in this case, 5,000 meters, you wanna feel that uh-oh moment where it gets real right at the end of that fourth. So then how's he gonna actually attack this? Well, he breaks it up into, he breaks up the workout into three parts. Jimmy, what I want you to do is I want you actually to think of it as a start, the whole middle section, and then your finish. Your start, your job is to attack the start, and then within that first 90 seconds, I need you to find a sustainable pace, a pace that you feel comfortable, that you found your rhythm. The goal is to try to maintain that pace until you get to that 4,000 meter point where you feel like you want to quit. And there, that's when you need to take risk. That is when you need to make your move for the finish line. Joe, your strategy is going to be a little bit different because we have targets. So one of the things that you're going to be doing is looking at your average pace as you proceed through this entire workout. So your first 1,000 meters, your speed will be slightly faster than this. For the next 3,000 meters, it's going to be slightly below. I want you to come into that last thousand meters feeling confident. But this is where you're gonna to have to have some courage. You're gonna to have to bring it home. You're gonna to have to push that pace and go significantly faster if you can on that last thousand. All right? Got it. That's the game plan. All right, you guys ready? All right, we're going in three, two, one, go.